I'm Liz Brown Swanson with an RPV TV update from Golden Cove Shopping Center in Rancho Palos Verdes, where Lamita Sheriff Station Captain Guerrero and her team have come out to meet with the community to discuss law enforcement efforts and residents' concerns about crime. The goal for today and going forward is for me to uh, build a relationship with the community, not just me, but uh, the men and women of Lamita Station to come out here and converse with the community, uh, not just about quality of life issues, but just to get to know them. Just looking at the stats recently, uh, crime is down um, in RPV, so uh, that goes to show the community and uh, the deputies working out there are working together uh, to solve these issues. So uh, very lucky, like I said, RPV uh, to be one of the safest communities out there. Well, I'm John Tai, and I am the chairman of our traffic safety committee from the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. And uh, like a lot of concerned people over here, I want to talk to the captain. Uh, she is a friend of mine, but also we want to know what ongoing efforts we can expect from the sheriff's department to help quell uh, efforts of, of crime, or residential burglaries. And certainly uh, my committee's focus is traffic. So uh, we're looking forward to asking her some questions and working with them. I'm now with Shauna Hunter, who oversees public safety with the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. So we're here today to get to know our captain a little bit better, give the community an opportunity to um, have some real conversations about public safety concerns in their neighborhoods and um, just see how the community can support our Lomita Sheriff Station and vice versa. There's many volunteer opportunities for the community as well, and so I'm hoping that the captain will talk a little bit about that too today. Uh, one thing I want to just remind everyone, even though this is a very safe community, always remember your 9 o'clock routine, lock your doors in your car, take any valuable items out of it, lock your windows, lock your doors in your house. We just want to make sure that everybody's aware of their surroundings. Also be good neighbors, get to know the people who live next door to you, um, get to know their routines. If somebody's doing something out of the ordinary, make that call to Lomita Station and then they'll come and investigate. Hi, my name is uh, Sergeant Tina McCoy. I am the Community Relations Sergeant for uh, Lomita Sheriff Station. Uh, today we're here for our Coffee with the Captain event. Uh, what we're uh, trying to do today is just trying to engage with the community and if you see something, say something. Um, you can call our uh, station number 310-539-1661. That's our business line or if it's an emergency you can call 911. But if you see something that's you know out of the ordinary we would um, ask for you to call us. Um, just know that you're not bothering us and that uh, just give us you know the opportunity to go out there and just try to investigate and see. If it's nothing, it's nothing. Council Member Paul Sayo with the city. You're here to have coffee with the captain. Your thoughts, you what you want to share with the residents about law enforcement efforts in our city right now and crime trends. The biggest part is I want to tell everybody that for the most part we are safe. Uh, we have a great relationship with our sheriff's department and they're very keen on under going to understand our community, what our needs are, and they're very open to hearing everything that we need. And uh, I'm out here to make sure that they're taken care of, uh, to show support from our council as well as our city for them and for us, and making sure that they understand where we come from and the needs that we have as uh, the community. My name is Dominique and I live in Mediterranean. One of my concerns uh, is that living just off of Ganado, which is, is off of uh, PV Drive East, we live at the top of the, what we call the switchbacks. I think everyone knows about the switchbacks. And it's, it's very limited visibility going around the corners. And uh, I have seen people drive kind of crazy up there. And if you listen at nighttime, a lot of people come to, to race the switchback. And so you see all of the skid marks and everything um, in the mornings. And it makes me wonder, you know, how fast are the people going in the evening? And I just wanted to ask what's being done to manage the dangerous driving on the switchbacks. I understand uh, the speeding and the switchbacks. I have spoken to a resident. Um, she is very concerned um, about the speeding and we are working on it. Um, so we do give a lot of citations. We have a lot of citations and um, I believe they are increased this year by about 10%. Hi, good morning. My name is Deputy Lopez. I'm a core deputy with the Lomita Sheriff's Station. I think a lot of concerns residents have is uh, burglaries. One of the main things, you know, we do get a few in the city. However, just a reminder, the city is one of the safest, safest in the county. Um, but again, just a reminder that if you guys are going to leave out of town, 
please let your neighbors know. Call us so we can do patrol checks. You know, make sure you guys leave floodlights on. You know, porch lights on when you guys go out of town or just out to dinner. Leave the TV on, something that might tell criminals that someone is home when you're not home. Now, as I wrap up this RPV TV update from Golden Cove Shopping Center, just want to remind residents always, if you see something, say something. I'm Liz Brown Swanson. See you next time.